You remember what Leo DeRocher said, don't you? Nice guys finish last. It's not actually what he said, but that's how he's remembered. And I, I'm not sure that I agree with that. I think I'm a reasonably nice person, and I'm not thinking there's anything terribly wrong with that. I'll tell you this much, anyway. I have certainly never thought of being nice as a possible risk for Alzheimer's. Now comes a new study that suggests it is, if you're too nice anyway. And I found that really interesting, and that's what I want to talk about today. Hi, I'm Tony Daring of GoCogno.com, the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. Everyone worries about their risk for Alzheimer's, but people with mild cognitive impairment are particularly concerned. MCI is not a form of dementia, but it puts people at higher risk for dementia. Of course, there are plenty of other risk factors too, and we know what they are. Lack of exercise, poor diet, obesity, chronic stress, high blood pressure. It's a long list. And scientists are always looking to improve their understanding of the causes of dementia. But a group of researchers in Switzerland found something that I don't think was on anybody's radar. They wanted to understand if there are certain personality traits that better protect people from cognitive decline. So they pulled together a small study group of people over 65 and followed them for five years. The study included psychological assessments, cognitive tests, and brain imaging. And what they found was actually quite unexpected. They found people who were disagreeable, who didn't shy away from conflict, and who were nonconformist have better protected brains. And what's more, this protection seemed to be centered in the very memory circuits that are most damaged by Alzheimer's. The people in this study who didn't seem to fare as well were the people who were too nice, uh, the kind of person who just goes along to get along. Or as one of the researchers put it, a high level of agreeableness characterizes highly adaptive personalities who want, above all, to be in line with the wishes of others, to avoid conflict, and to seek cooperation. The important determinant is the relationship to the other. Do we adapt to others at our own expense? That's the key, and I hope you understand the distinction. The point here is not that the way to avoid Alzheimer's is by being obnoxious. I mean, I live in New Jersey. If that were true, nobody in New Jersey would ever get Alzheimer's because here in Jersey, we will definitely get right in your face. So there has to be some other takeaway here. And here's what I think it is. I think it's okay to be nice, but maybe it's not so okay to be a doormat. The distinction seems to be more about sacrificing your own needs and concerns in deference to other people. So maybe there's a lesson here about the importance of self-care and standing up for yourself in certain situations. And no matter what else, if you have mild cognitive impairment, you want to understand the risks and you want to know what you can do to defend your cognition. Now is the time to take good care of yourself, to put yourself first. I'm very curious, what do you think about this? Do you think that personality plays a role in cognitive decline? Is there anything in these findings that strikes a chord with you? Let me know, leave a comment below, or send me an email at Tony Daring 
at gocogno.com. I hope to hear from you, and I hope to see you again next week. And in a slight deviation from my usual sign-off, I encourage you, as always, to be nice to your mind.